So you might be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone's lock screen, your basically your brightness and everything on your display is too dim, it's too low, you can't even read what's on the display. But you can still make out for something you know that's on the display itself. The number one thing I'd recommend doing for the most part is making sure that your display brightness isn't extremely low. Now you can kind of use this particular display right now on the display itself to kind of get an idea of what your iPhone display looks like. If you look in the top right corner of your iPhone, you can see that there's a little pull down of your display. What you can do is you can swipe down on the pull down of that display right there. And this toggle right here usually is where the brightness is gonna be. On iOS 18, it can change. But if your brightness is all the way low like this, the only way to go and kind of change it back up is to kind of basically go from here, you can even barely see the display, is to make out what you can see, swipe down from the top right corner right over here, and look in this particular area of the display. So the top half, look in this area, you wanna drag this brightness toggle as high as you can. So that's all you're gonna to wanna to do. I can barely see the display right now, but you wanna drag this toggle as high as you can, and that's gonna be the number one thing I'd recommend doing. Now, when you find the appropriate brightness for you, you can then go and basically let go. You can then go and just use the iPhone as you normally would, and that's basically that. That's the number one way of going through and fixing the problem. Now, another thing you can try doing as well is to restart your iPhone. So hold down basically the volume up button and the power button of your iPhone. If you feel your iPhone vibrate, then you should be able to go through and slide your iPhone to power off or just use this particular display to you know to power it off. Or what you can also do is click the volume up button, volume down button, and then hold the power button until your iPhone completely restarts. So I don't know why it didn't work, but you can hold a variation of those buttons. Wait until your iPhone completely restarts by holding down that button. And that's another way to go and fix the problem as well. So those are a few different ways to go and fix it. If you have any other problems or solutions, let me know in the comment section below. The like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.